Good morning, viewers. It's a new day. Welcome to today's devotion with the Daily Fountain, the devotional guide of the Church of Nigeria Anglican Communion. Invite your family and friends. Get your Bible and your Daily Fountain manual while our devotional leader takes us on today's devotion. Once again, it is another opportunity for us to meditate on the Word of God. And I pray that the Lord will bless all of us as we quietly and gently wait upon Him to speak to us. Father Almighty, thank you for another day. We pray that your Spirit will minister to us. My people perish for lack of knowledge. Therefore, Lord, bless us with the knowledge that will come from the reading and explanation of the Scripture today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. <clears throat> Today is Tuesday, August 20, 2019, and our reading will be taken from Jeremiah chapter 4, 19 to 31. Jeremiah 4, 19 to 31, and the topic for the day is the day of doom. The day of doom. I read Jeremiah 4. My heart, my heart, I read in pain. My heart pounds within me. I cannot be still. For I have heard the blast of enemy trumpets and the roar of their battle cries. Waves of destruction roll over the land until it lies in complete desolation. Suddenly, my tents are destroyed. In a moment, my shelters are crushed. How long must I see the battle's flag and hear the trumpets of war? My people are foolish and do not know me, says the Lord. They are stupid children who have no understanding. They are clever enough to do him wrong, but they have no idea how to do right. I looked at the earth, and it was empty and formless. I looked at the heavens, and there was no light. I looked at the mountains and hills, and they trembled and shook. I looked, and all the people were gone. All the birds of the sky had flown away. I looked, and the fertile field had become a wilderness. The towns lay in ruins, crushed by the Lord's fierce anger. This is what the Lord says. The whole land will be ruined. But I will not destroy it completely. The earth will mourn. And the heavens will be dropped in black. Because of my decree against my people. I have made up my mind and will not change it. At the noise of chariots and archers and people flee in terror. They hide in the bushes and run for the mountains. All the towns have been abandoned. Not a person remains. What are you doing? You who have been plundered. Why do you dress up in beautiful clothing and put on gold jewelry? Why do you brighten your eyes with mascara? Your primping will do you no good. The allies who were your lovers despise you and seek to kill you. I hear a cry like that of a woman in labor. The groans of a woman giving birth to her first child. It is beautiful, Jerusalem, gasping for breath and crying out, Help! 
I am being murdered. The word of the Lord. Today, once again, I tell you that the topic is the day of doom. Today's reading is a pronouncement of judgment and disaster upon Judah and Jerusalem. Jeremiah perceived it as a result of the sporadic spread of sin in the land which had got to an alarming rate. Jeremiah, because he was a servant of God, because he was one listening to what God was saying, he was able to decipher, was able to actually distinguish, this is not right and this is right. And because of that, he began to warn the people. Judah and Jerusalem was found guilty of the sin of idolatry. The sin of apostasy. One, idolatry. God hates sharing his glory with any other. God is a jealous God. If you say you are his, obey him and do his will. Don't be married to another idol or another God. Like we see in Nigeria today, fetish things in different people's houses. God hates apostasy. If you say you believe, continue to believe. Not believing today and turning back to mundane things or practicing what is called syncretism. The sin of corruption. We talked about it yesterday. And I'm sure we will not be tired of talking about corruption because it's one of the things that destroys a nation. And the sin of immorality. Immorality. It breathes unrighteousness. Our body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. When we defile it, what do we do? The Bible says any spirit, anybody, anyone that does not have the spirit of God is not of God. And when we begin to live riotously in immorality, God will separate from us. Because of all this, disaster was proclaimed upon the land of Israel. As in Jeremiah chapter 4 verse 29. When we compare the case of Judah and Jerusalem with the situation of Nigeria today, are we free from a similar impending doom? Are we free from such impending doom? Many don't know. Many don't think about it. A lot of people have made a lot of wealth and acquired so many things that they think they will live in this world forever. And let me tell you, it is appointed on man who wants to die. You know, Ecclesiastes chapter 9 verse 5 says, The dead, the living know that they will die. Do you know that you will die? And when you die, where, where, what will you do with all you have acquired on earth? What is the scriptural condition of our nation today? The revelation of the doom of Judah and Jerusalem affected Jeremiah. What are we doing as Christians to salvage the situation in our own country today? Are we praying? Are we talking to the people? John was not afraid of death because he rebuked Herod about his taking Herodias, his brother's wife, when that young man was still alive. Why not open your mouth and condemn evil? As a person, are you encouraging or discouraging sin? What you do, what you teach, how you relate, are they making people see light in you or darkness? Be warned, a sinner will not go unpunished. Are you living a double standard life? In Jeremiah chapter 4 verse 22 and I read my people are foolish they know me not they are stupid children wow look at God calling us stupid children if we don't obey him they have no understanding like I said before they are mumu, mumu. They, they are wise in what ways in doing evil but to do good they know not. Are you part of what I have read now? Do you think that God can be deceived? You may deceive men 
but you cannot deceive God. This is because the, the firm foundation of God's stance, according to 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 19, God knows those who are his. And he said, let they that name the name of the Lord depart iniquity. Have you departed iniquity? How do I live? Those who are living with me, what testimonies are they giving about me and you? Can you just say you belong to God and, and, and you go to church, but within the place you, 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 you dwell, people are not at peace with you. They, they heave a sigh of relief when you are not around. And when they see you coming, their heart skips into them. Are you like that? God knows his people. The umbrella of church that you are covered by the church. Philanthropy and the politics cannot help you. They cannot hide you. Giving money to the church, building churches, building parsonages, making huge donations to the church. They are good though, but they cannot save you. Unless you turn to God. Unless you return to him. Be warned. The day is around the corner. Only through children of God will escape. The only exit way is to turn to God in repentance through Jesus Christ. Let me ask you again. Are you born again? You who go to church every Sunday. Who, you, you who call yourself a Christian. Are you born again? Nicodemus knew that he was far away from God. And he went to Jesus and asked him, Master, what do I do? See, unless you are born again, you cannot enter the kingdom of God. You cannot see it. Talk less of an entering. My people, today I pray that God will grant you grace of understanding. As you remember, that there is a day appointed for doom, a horrible day. The day that God would want to avenge the wickedness of man upon man. Charles Spurgeon said, it is a day that God will be angry, angry in the hand of the sinners. It sinners will suffer. An angry God with sinners in the hand of an angry God will mean doom and disaster. I pray that God will give you understanding as we pray together. Pray with me. Oh Lord, help me to be on a safe side on the day of your judgment. Thank you Lord for granting us understanding. In Jesus mighty name. Amen. We thank you for fellowshipping with us today. We invite you to join us tomorrow morning, same time, same station for another special edition of the Daily Fountain. If you are led to sponsor or support this program, please contact the numbers and email all showing on your screen. Also, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash ACNNTV. Visit our website www.acnntv.com.